Hey there folks, how we doing? It's 7.47 a.m. 10-10-2016. I think it's Monday. Yeah, Monday, October 10th, 2016. 7.47, that was that big jumbo jet. Um, seven is spiritual force fortitude. Spiritual fortitude for attaining spirituality, understanding spirituality. You can't really attain spirituality because you are spirit, sentient energy. So just by existing, you've already attained it, but it's an understanding of it. We're having a, <laughs> a little bit of a rough day. I've got something I want to bring up, though. Um, that's a part of red, part of red tiger lily, and the, uh, the lily that was in Marilyn Monroe. Have been working on my head for a few days here. It's all changing again. Um, anyway, uh, make sure everything's working. Uh, A lot of people believe there's life on other planets. A lot of people believe that they're running around in spaceships. Those people are 100% correct. It's getting to the point now where people need to consider well, they don't need to like they have to, but the next step in something that will behoove them greatly, really help them out, is to go ahead and understand that not only are they coming, they're here. They've been with us for over 10 million years. They've been running this planet, some of them, the problematic Anunnaki. But now some bigger folk are coming, and you're going to meet them. Up close and particular. Huh. What are you going to do? How are you going to feel? What are you going to say when you find out that we're not alone? Good Herky, honey. You right, buddy? Good man, Herc. Um, imagine for a moment. Just relax. And feel ships coming down here, if any signs, and beings coming off and walking around. And then they actually get into the mass media, where you meet some. What are your thoughts going to be? Are you going to be excited, probably at first? Hyper, excited, anxious? A lot of you are going to say, damn it, I knew it. And uh, if you at least go there and keep flowing, you go to the next step, right? What's going on? Who are they? Where are they from? What's going to happen now? It's important people get to that next step and start thinking about that. Folks, they're here. This is going to happen. Um... I mentioned in the, the previous video just for a moment that uh, I'm talking with a council member. He's source. He's um, from Lily and Ara. He's one of the, the draw council members. Right now there's 12 of them. There'll be more in a little bit. Um, 
he and I were trying to talk yesterday, but I had part of Lily that was inside Marilyn Monroe and part of Lily that was uh, Tiger Lily in my head for a couple, two, three days now. Everyone's getting hit. Deanna, uh, Berju, I haven't talked to her yet, but she was getting hit hard. Uh, Paul talked with him, too. He said, holy mackerel, he's so tired of this stuff. Folks, he's got that same aggression when it's necessary that I have. 90, a little over 98% of his frequencies literally come from me. He's a powerhouse. There's many other strong hitters now, and the folks from the, the military intelligence groups are starting to um, try to access some family members, ones that I haven't... Uh, put on the spiritual foundation also, besides some of those. Uh, they're kind of wondering where things will go when I get out of here, and can they see like I can? Uh, so are they going to be easier to dupe, you know, to try to control whatever went over to their side to get information from, yada, yada, yada. Folks, when I get out of here, I'm free. The field everywhere is a part of me. I'll, I'll literally finally be loose, put myself together. Um, they can't understand that. They can't see multidimensionally. They're still thinking one dimension, one plane. That's the extent of their intelligence. Not too good. Um... Not only are these family members of mine super strong, Lily and I be making stuff happen everywhere, plus we'll be in them. The field is not just a cloud that you walk through, the field goes through you. The field is the strongest source energy in all creation and it's male, that's its job. I'd like to say something funny like, hi, how you doing? But it, it's outside, It's what's outside of me, not, not you know, it's attached to me, but it's what's outside of me. When the first happened, I literally had to pull it out, clean it, run it through this dimension in my head, and then send it out again. It's just, sometimes I do that twice a day, three times a day. It was just insane. Then after the Aramelius was gone, that was the end of having to deal with that. Anyway, um, I'll be talking with this council member soon again, um, later today or tomorrow. Um, it's regarding what's going on here on the planet. Um, if there's something I can mention, I'm going to. There's things I'm going to have to mention. Because it, that information is correct, but it needs to come out. I've said I don't know, a lot of times about how incredibly intelligent and powerful the Drak are. The Entids, they were the second race to be crea created. They're incredibly powerful too, strong. Wow. Folks pick up a car and toss it like it's a, I don't know, birthday cake. So, I was trying to talk to him yesterday, this council member. He's family, like I said, he's source from Aaron Lilly. And uh, I, I was trying, you know, he's kind of anxious to talk with me. And we're trying to throw some thoughts back and forth. But I had the, the my two Lilies in my head working on it so hard that I, I couldn't get anything done. They're still in there hard right now. Uh which is nice. We did discuss one thing, but there's no, there wasn't an end to that discussion. Um, so anyway, there's stuff I'll be bringing to you. But in the, in the meantime, uh, I want you to think, and I want this for you, not for me. But it, it's good for you, but it's good for everyone else too. But it's really good for you. It helps you settle in to what you're about to see. These folks are real. You're going to see them. You're going to see the ships appear and disappear. And people are going to say, what? 
And it's important people don't freak out. And the stronger you are, the more you can see. There, these people are come, going to be coming to you for a reason. Because you can see and they can't yet. Not just when something becomes visible, but what happens before and after. This is all part of creation's awakening. This is planned. Um, it's not being fully or properly executed yet, and it won't be for a little while, a few months. Then it starts hard. But in the meantime, it's happening. The Drak are in control of this. It's time for things to break away from what they have been. The, these problematic uh, Anunnaki. Anunnaki are cool, folks. But the ones here running this planet, no. they got some issues. A few of them are really cool. Two of the leaders are cool. The Arkansas clan is really cool. And the, uh, the one that runs uh, Russia... That area, that clan, she's really cool. There's time for them to go, and they will. The uh, the system being put together, um, Australia. Uh, Australia is about to get attacked, um, not outside underground, almost in the middle of it. Mining facilities. They didn't stop the mining like they were supposed to. Australia's going to have a little rattle and roll, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know that they're going to use any hard weapons. Anyway, whatever. That just came out of nowhere. Um, ah, Timelines. That's two lines over. Um, It's mostly miners over there. There's not a strong, uh, a very strong presence. Um, I believe it's just going to be taken away. Uh, and I think there will be a couple of um, implosions. Like they do with those ships. They're going to implode it so it doesn't screw up the mine much. Um, and it's small. It's only um, a few... Uh, it's like small buildings. I mean, really small, you know, one, two-story buildings. Um, They've been taking everything out, diamonds, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, it's kind of wacky. Everything's waiting to happen. But anyway, um, the reason why uh, I did this video is, folks, what you're thinking is real is real. Excuse me, take the next step. Relax, go in your head and just imagine you've seen them. That they're here. That the whole world knows. When you, when, but when you see for yourself that they're here, where's the next step for you? What's the next step for you? What's going on? If you live the fact, if you go ahead and put yourself into that situation and live that fact through your head that they're already here, then you start moving forward right away. Um... That's going to put you ahead of the curve. Okay? 
Um, those of you that can relax and float out of yourself, um, I want to tell you to go float up to some of the ships and go look around and see. But when you get to a certain, and I will say that, but when you get to a certain point, um, there'll be someone there to meet you and they'll literally keep you away from important meetings and stuff so you can't get in there. But uh, um, there will be someone there for you to talk to. Uh, some of y'all are getting really strong. Some of you do this all the time. Um, one couple I just uh, talked with, uh, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, I have no idea. If, um, uh, this the, the, the husband, he likes to just take off and just fly. <laughs> Um, he, he's really frustrated with things here, and boy, can I relate that or relate to that. And uh, uh, the wife, she's uh, uh, strong. She's hard energy. She, she's learning. They're both learning how to uh, feel things, but she projects herself out and then starts looking and feeling nearby. And they're uh, they're up in Canada, and they're near a place where there's a. Uh, uh, I will say it's in uh, the area of Quebec, but there's a place down there on the ground where it's like a warehouse, uh, like a loading dock and stuff, combination warehouse loading dock. And then they have those capsules that fly through these tubes. Um, they run on some type of electromechanical energy. Uh, they're, they, some of these things go 600 miles an hour, folks. These things are fast. Okay, very fast. Um, it almost looks like a capsule. Some of them bigger than the others, but uh, uh, they do have a maximum size, you know. But um, the thing is that they, they just haul butt. They just fly. Um, but they're loading stuff, and it goes underneath Quebec, and then uh, um, uh, underneath Newf Newf Newfoundland, and into the ocean. And the Anunnaki... This one Anunnaki uh, kept going to her uh, th and through a tri trip chair and uh, stifling her when she would, you know, come out to go to come out of her body, trying to keep her from seeing and feeling what's going on there. Um, that person can't do that anymore, and that facility has some problems now. Um, but anyway, uh, uh, That's just where they send where they send stuff to get it off planet, but it goes into the ocean. There's a depository down there, uh, right on the ocean floor, and uh, it's like a big warehouse of storing all kinds of stuff. The problem is they can't get out anymore. Uh, the Drock have locked stuff up really well. There's more I can say about that, and I won't. Anyway. Um, We think of military intelligence as an oxymoron so much because of the way um, our governments dumb everything down. But uh, the jock, they bring that back to life. Anyway, um, You might want to float into the area of uh, what am I going to do when they're here. Uh, my suggestion is to relax, float inside yourself, and then just see yourself on one of the ships. Folks, remember, you're so much more than what's in your body. You can only fit a teeny piece of you in your body, okay? A small piece. When I, a lot of you that have come to me, I tell you that if we put you in a helicopter, put you in the middle of the U.S., that literally your energy can touch both oceans. Well, how big is your body compared to that big distance? So how much of you is actually inside that body? The strongest part of you that, that could be put in there is in there. The rest is hanging out everywhere. That's why these spheres... When you put your energy, you hold, take your two hands, one here, one over there, 
you put your hands up to it, and then you, it, it's copper. It's pure, co well, pure, as pure as you can get, pure copper with stones and stuff inside. And as your energy goes into it, it goes into the stones. And then in, um, it goes into the copper, it goes into all the stones together, and then comes back out in, into your energy and feeds you. It's like nutrients for uh, your energy. Um, your energy is huge. So when you relax, just calm down, let yourself flow, then extend yourself outward. Uh, you can go to, to some of these people. You can think of them and just go. Folks, you don't have to see it with your, your conscious eyes because you can't. Almost none of you have that ability. Okay? It's not a normal process for the human body. So... You just relax and you make the intention to go somewhere you can make the intention I want to get to the nearest ship you know and you go there if you say I want to go into a meeting into a war meeting war room you'll either you won't make it there or you're gonna come back with a headache okay just saying if you make it there and you don't want to leave you'll come back with a headache The Drock race is trillions of years old. <sighs> That's funny. It's thousands of trillions of years old. Good reason to be called elders, huh? Physical elders. Anyway, um, that would be the next step and meeting them before you actually meet them personally. Uh, that'll eventually happen, but not everyone's going to, you know, over 6 billion people, it was it 7 billion, whatever, over 6 billion people are not going to, uh, hi, how you doing, Mr. Druck or Mr. Anunnaki or uh, Mrs. Antid? Um, you're not going to have that opportunity, you'll see them, but you can reach out with your mind and say hi. These folks are strong telepaths. They've been around a long time. They're raised in an environment where it's known to be an accepted norm. They're not raised uh, the way we are. In, in an insane fashion. Totally denying ourselves and what and who we really are. So what will you say when you see them? What will you say to yourself? What will you say to your friends? How will you feel? Then here's the big part. What do you do? What's next? Oh, thank you ladies. Appreciate that. like having a 10-foot stick shoved, a spear shoved in your head. It's funny. Um, you can't talk to anyone you want whenever you want because the conversation is a two-way gig and, and these folks are here, they're pretty busy, but there's folks out there that you can, that you can talk to. Um, that's the next step. I've been trying to awaken as many of you as possible. I've been trying to help you find a way to flow out of yourself. Those emanation spheres to relax, to flow outside of your body and go. Um, uh, Deanna and some of the other folks are going to be making all the different spheres. I'll have a list of them pretty soon. I start getting caught up and then something happens so I get in this brain changed again. You know, it's just... I understand why it's... Uh, the other side feels it's necessary and honestly it is important. It happens. Just tired of it. 
Um, that's how you talk with them, and that's how you get the truth about them. You know what's going to happen as soon as they land here, right? Your governments, the media, they're going to turn everything around. It's just another chance for them to find another way to control you better, the media. Not our friends visiting. Over 98% of everything in space, they're here to help. There's a few stupid ones out there. But folks, there's a lot, there's a lot of, a lot of power out in space. Uh, there's a lot of folks out there. Uh, it's not like it's going to happen tomorrow, meeting them, but you're on the cusp of it. Um, as I said that, I said, I started wondering how many people are at the uh, at space station near Saturn. I said, I was thinking, you know, it's probably full up. People wanting to be here in the area. And I looked at it and it's less than normal. Some of the people have left and I'm like, what the heck? Um, uh, they're expecting, there's some people that are expecting some trouble. And folks, when you have such a strong draw, oh, there's more drop ships. And there's some mantid fighters here. Uh, okay. And folks, as you see things, you're going to see it like that too. You get a bits and pieces at a time. That's how it happens. You'll you'll see an image. That's you getting an image. Sometimes you're given one, but usually you just go see it yourself. That image is real. It's just trying to understand it. Remember, you're seeing... You're not seeing things with physical eyes or with glasses on, okay? It's not that easy, but it gets easier all the time. Um, and, you know, honestly, all the, the extra, um, I'm seeing literally Antids in battle gear. Uh, there's uh, Antid warships here now. Um, and there's a very strong Drock presence. These people have been around a long time. They're very strong, very powerful, incredibly intelligent, and there's a lot of them. People are going to be surprised at how many there are. They don't stay in hiding. They don't have to hide from anything, but they're uh, somewhat reclusive. They're all gearing up. You know, I, I see that, and I'm like, okay, well, that's weird. That's, you know, there are all, a whole lot of um, extra troops and everything, uh, ships, people. And then I just have to stop. I turn around and said, hey, dude, you said yesterday that it was all starting yesterday. Hello. <laughs> Maybe sometimes it helps me when I see things, understanding what I'm seeing and knowing it when I don't have much of a conscious mind and I can't, you know, like the regular memory. Because when you keep seeing things with a fresh mind, then, you know, you're not lying. Sometimes when I talk with people, I'll tell them the same thing twice because it's a strong prevalent thing in front of them. A couple of my friends get really pissed. This one lady, she goes, you tell me that already. You know, she's a good friend of mine. She goes, you tell me that already. I'm like, calm down, calm down. I haven't seen her in a long time. She's a really strong soul that's been with me for a long time. She's really cool. I'm anxious to be able to help her properly, too. Um, okay. Uh, not now. Later on, I'll have something to tell you about what's going to happen. Um... August of next year is going to be big. Very big. Um, okay, we won't go there right now. 
Um, I'll say this, August of uh, next year. Um, sorry, conversation. Um, okay, um, August of next year, there's going to be some executions. That's pretty neat. He wanted that to be known. He wants it to be known. I said he wanted it because it... He went ahead and said that. And he's... This guy's cool. He's a pretty calm person, but he's pissed. They're so tired of watching it. They're so tired of seeing it and not doing anything about it. They don't want to be known as wanting to run the universe or something stupid like that. But they're fed up with it. Um, <laughs> that's funny. A little light flicker. That's actually him. He's strong. When you've had lives where you've been raised to use your abilities from birth, um, you're strong. You can do some strong stuff. He's nearby, but he's not in a trip chair. It's no wonder he's one of the council members. Um, anyway, uh, uh, this is different than I thought it'd be. Um, twenty eighteen is going to be a hard time on this planet. I don't mean for people. I mean for what's trying to, what's been abusing it. Uh, it's funny. Um, I'm getting death removal and insecticide. Um, What's left here that's causing problems in 2018 is going to be taken out and just killed. Um, open and brutal. Uh, the drug is going to leave a physical message. Um, Something about calling the Earth home. Um, the Drak race was uh, first created on uh, Gera. Uh, oh, it's uh, um, it's time for the Earthlings, so to speak, to have their home. So they're taking the, the crap out of the house so that the, they can have a nice home. That's Again, see there, there's the word home, and I'm trying to understand it and see it. Moving energy around when you're that strong, it is, folks, it's easy. When you're, you know, strong source energy, but seeing stuff can still be difficult. But you just keep going. Uh, they're anxious to talk. There's, they're setting up... Uh, Places to talk, I'm getting all excited. Um, they're setting up, uh, like, rooms for y'all to literally go out there and talk to them. Um, they're dedicating a large room on this um, space station near uh, um, uh, Saturn where there's going to be people in trip chairs just to talk to you. 
It's a cool what? So as you go to reach out, they'll see and feel you, and they'll touch, touch, they'll connect with you, and that way, you don't go near their, you know, meetings, their board, not board meetings, the war room. You're kept away from there, um, but you don't have to try to reach all the way out to the space station. That they'll be hanging around right here. It's like they're hanging around in the atmosphere, which is easy for any of you to reach, and, and all of you, if you want to get out there. It's time for us to meet. We're family. I've never been able to do what I want to do, really want to do, but I've always been doing everything I can to try and make things happen. And there's a lot of other folk that have that same heart. Uh, the majority of you are listening to this for a reason. It's nice to have updates and be aware of what's going on, but those of you that aren't able to relax and open up and flow yet, um, maybe it's a good time to try to start doing it. They all talk to each other telepathically, almost all of them, all the other races. We have some incredible innate abilities these uh, these human bodies can actually develop and are evolving into something new um, and there will be less of them things are going to change but uh, well I was asking you what comes next, because I want you to reach out and touch and touch, you know, touch base with them, re reach out for them. But there's a whole lot going on with that, a lot more than I was aware of when I started the video. And folks, that's how it's going to go with you. It's just going to flow and keep going. And the hardest part is trying to believe yourself. If you see something, folks, have a little faith in it, and then continue. And if someone's talking with you and they talk to you and say stuff that you couldn't have come up with. That helps you understand that you're actually talking to someone. That it's not you talking to yourself. It helps you have faith, but not many of you want to make stuff up and just... And then I walk into the house and I have a gun. There's a gun, yes. And I walk into the house and I jump out the window and I'm on a parachute. There's my parachute. Folks, if you're doing that, then, you know, whatever. But uh, you're not going to just make something up out of your subconscious, which is the real you anyway, um, just to, what, please yourself. No, if you're looking for truth, you're going to find it. It's just time to start looking a little harder. Love you, folks. Have a good one.